consistent queen back again with another video i mean as you guys know we are consistent if you're new here thank you for stopping by please don't forget to hit the subscribe button trust me you're gonna love it here and if you are a returning subscriber then thank you so so much for coming back so as you guys could tell from the title of this video we have a life update i'm not gonna lie guys i have been procrastinating filming one of these for a very long time like i would always find the silliest excuses to not film it as i would edit some of my videos i realized that no there actually is a huge jump that i didn't really share and that's when i was like no actually you know you need to stop procrastinating and you just need to film it like you need to let people know what's been happening and let people into this new chapter of your life so yeah guys let's start with the most important thing which is my move to Cape Town guys i'm so happy i'm finally here in cape town those of you who have been following me for a long time know that i've always wanted to come to cape town but unfortunately i had let other people make decisions for me which led to me starting my adult life in pretoria rather than where i wanted to be which is here and guys i must say my time in pretoria it was fun for some time but as time went by i realized that no actually like this is just not the place that I'm supposed to be and I just started to feel stunted in my growth as a person like I just stopped being inspired and I just kind of like lost sight of my purpose and now that I'm on this side I'm starting to feel more inspired I'm starting to get to know myself again get to know what excites me get to know what I want to do I'm kind of like seeing side of my purpose again even though life looks a little different to how I thought it would look but yeah like I'm kind of I'm finding my feet see I don't even kind of I am finding my feet and it feels so good I sometimes wonder how different my life would be if I started off here in Cape Town rather than in Pretoria but I guess that's just something we'll never know but I imagine it would be so much more different. And in terms of life in Cape Town compared to life in Pretoria, I noticed that in Cape Town, people really keep to themselves a lot more, which I quite like because I'm somebody who keeps to themselves. Like I would say I'm more introverted than I am extroverted. I know this may come as a surprise to some people, but those who know me from like high school and primary will tell you I've always just been somebody who keeps to themselves like guys need to energy like i'm just you know i'm just a quiet girl like <laughs> and being here in cape town really just allows me to kind of like come back to myself and to really just be myself in my truest form and it feels so liberating oh my goodness but in terms of friendships i know this is also a question that i've been frequently asked i have not made any new friendships as of yet and i honestly feel like i don't really have the emotional capacity as of yet to make new friends and on top of that i just feel like i'm at the age where the friends that i make are people who should have a deep connection with me like i don't want shadow level friendships like i want friendships with people who just get me but i know that when the time is right and also when i'm ready as a person god will place the right friends that i need to have in my life in my life but until then i'm just riding solo trying to find myself and honestly it really just allows me to go through all of the emotions without seeming like a deadbeat because like you know guys like when you have friends and you're just going through it it's a bit hard though because they'll think that you just don't want to talk to them or you just don't want to go out with them but sometimes you're just going through it like <laughs> sometimes you're just going through it. like sometimes we are go while you don't really want to be going out for lunch and stuff so this phase of my life my isolation phase really just allows me to find myself and to find my feet and also just to grow and reach the point where i'll be like comfortable to let people into my life and where i know that i'll be able to be a good friend to other people you know school wise i transferred from university of pretoria to university of cape town and guys i've really been enjoying my time in uct 
but sometimes I just feel a little bit sad because I was actually supposed to be done with my studies by now but I'm not <laughs> uh, God had different plans yeah life really does look a little bit different to how I thought it would look but that's okay because you know when you plan God decides you know and I feel like also that aspect of my life led to me feeling inadequate and also kind of like losing confidence in myself like not confidence in my appearance or whatever but i mean like confidence in my ability to do stuff confidence in yeah just confidence in myself like confidence in me as dinero like i stopped trusting myself and building up that confidence has been taking some time but it's something that i'm dedicating time towards doing because it's very important guys like as a person you need to have confidence in yourself you know and i'll get there like i will build up my confidence once again and i just feel like regardless of how long it takes you to do something you must do it like you must be stubborn even when your energy finishes even when your strength finishes you must just use your stubbornness honestly guys like in life you really need to be stubborn like you need to be stubborn in terms of finishing your goals you need to be stubborn in terms of completing activities and yeah that's what i'm doing now like the strength is finished the energy is finished but i'm just using my stubbornness to get through it and i'm somebody who's always believed in education so no matter what guys that i will get there you know and when i get there it's gonna be so beautiful and i just realized that maybe maybe just maybe my story will be the one of resilience you know which is not necessarily ideal but it's a beautiful story nonetheless and yeah i just felt like that's something that i needed to share with you guys because you guys had been there from the beginning and yeah it kind of like this will explain the jump in my content because i know some of you were wondering like okay what is she up to what is she doing yeah guys that's what i'm up to that's what i'm doing like I'm pushing regardless of how long it takes me to do something the most important thing is that I'm gonna do it I'm gonna finish and when I finish it's gonna be so glorious as difficult as the past few months have been for me I have managed to accomplish some things that I'm very very proud of one of those things being starting my own clothing business um, the name of the business is four so Please do check it out and please do support if you can. Um, the purpose of starting this clothing business, I wanted to make clothes that are body inclusive. So I want clothes that anybody with anybody can wear and look good in and clothes that will promote positivity, clothes that make you feel good and clothes that make you look good. And I just wanted something body inclusive but also like premium you know i just felt like we need more premium clothing clothing that will last you for a long time like the kind of clothes that you will still be wearing like four or five years down the line so that's what i am doing now and guys it's been a long time coming as well like i've always wanted to sell clothes i really have a deep passion for fashion as corny as it sounds i truly love clothes and i love fashion and i can't wait to see how much my baby grows and what i manage to do with it and also apart from being an entrepreneur yeah i am an entrepreneur guys like there's a lot that i'm doing i'm doing a little bit of this a little bit of that i won't get into much details but just know the girl is working guys like i really try to work so hard for my money and i'm also still you know pushing the content creator lifestyle guys i really do enjoy creating content even though as time went by um i kind of like stopped because i wasn't feeling inspired but like i'm feeling inspired now hence i'm trying to create more hence i'm going back to my roots of like how i used to create content back then like i want to use my instagram and post the way i used to post in like 2019 you know like i want instagram to be fun again and the only way instagram can be fun again is if you as a person make instagram fun again for you so that's what i'm trying to do not just instagram also tiktok also youtube like i want to make social media fun again for myself 
because at some point it was no longer fun <laughs> it was no longer fun like i went through a phase where i was just scared of being perceived as silly as it sounds like what kind of creator is scared of being perceived but i truly was scared of being perceived like and i think it also goes back to i didn't really have confidence within myself so i was just scared of being perceived you know and i was just scared of like compromising myself i was scared of like saying the wrong thing saying like yeah i was just scared guys like i don't know how else to put it like i really was scared of being perceived more than anything but you know we are so back we are back like um colo so yeah i am blessed to have people in my life that really care about me like guys community is everything and it's just so nice to know that there are people in your life that have your back you know and i also feel like my youtube subscribers more than anything do have my back like i really appreciate it when you guys check up on me i appreciate it when you guys you know like hold me to a certain standard and when you guys like ask me updates on like okay are you still going to parties are you still doing this are you still doing that and i mean like there's some people that really ask in a way that you can see that this person is genuinely concerned like this person genuinely wants to just check up on you and i really appreciate all my dolls that take time out of their day to genuinely just check up on me and genuinely just you know like keep me to a certain standard who what's the word that i'm looking for they keep me accountable yes i appreciate the people who keep me accountable yeah like guys community is so important and i'm just so grateful for the people that i have in my life and i'm also looking forward to the people that will still come into my life and i remember a quote where um it goes all the best days of your life are still to come and i'm so excited for that like life has really been a bit rough yeah it's been good at times but sometimes it's rough but it's so comforting to know that the best days of my life are still ahead of me like i haven't met all of the people in my life who will care about me i haven't met all of the people in my life who will love me and stuff so just knowing that is so comforting and it's just a reminder that life always gets better like even if it sucks right now it will get better so right now i'm just focused on becoming a better version of myself i'm focused on achieving my goals i'm focused on maintaining my relationships with the people that are already in my life and yes i am also in a romantic relationship and yeah <laughs> i know a lot of you guys have been asking me if i have a boyfriend or not yes i do have a partner whom i care about so very much i won't be getting into details with that because that's just not something that i'm comfortable with getting into details with even though as a creator it's kind of tempting to share every single thing with your subscribers and with the people who consume your content but sometimes it leads to you just over compromising yourself which is also something that i was really worried about in terms of like filming this video i was worried about like compromising myself or like oversharing and i used to be an overshare guys i'm not gonna lie i used to overshare like nobody's business and i would always regret it as time went by i'd be like oh my goodness like, why did i say that <laughs> why did i say that like i still want to be honest with people who consume my content but i don't want to be honest in a way that compromises me you know so i'm also still trying to find the balance in that which i think is also part of the reason why i haven't really filmed that many sit down videos i actually haven't filmed any sit down videos this year um yeah because i just was scared to like overshare or like compromise myself but i just want to let you guys know that i'm still being honest i'm still very open and stuff but i'm trying to be a little bit more cautious and i would rather not say anything than to lie to you guys like i don't want to get up here and start lying hence why i also took my time to just film this video and take my time to be ready to film this video because i didn't want to get up here and start lying to you guys like rather you don't say anything you get me like as a person rather don't say anything than for you to start lying to people like that's wrong so yeah my content is still going to be 100 percent honest but i will be keeping certain things 
to myself and i hope that you guys understand that and don't feel any type of way about it and yeah guys what content can you expect moving forward um moving forward i really do want to film more girl talk videos definitely i really enjoy those but also because i was not really in a good headspace i couldn't really film those but now that i'm feeling a lot better and i'm like gaining confidence in myself and stuff i will be filming more girl talk videos i will be sharing more moments that i'm comfortable with sharing you can expect more fashion videos for sure like i love fashion so you can expect more fashion videos more fragrance videos more plugs more advice for young girls more than anything the purpose of my channel was to show other people that yes although life can be glamorous sometimes life is not so glamorous and sometimes you'll just be going through shit you know but even if you're going through shit you can get through it like that's what i want people to see that even if life is tough you can get through it like right now i was going through it but i'm gonna get through it guys and i also want you to know that if i can get through it you can also get through it you know and more than anything i also just want people to learn from my mistakes so yeah like definitely i will be sharing more of those kind of videos and of course vlogs i love vlogs like vlogs are just so cutesy so so yes you can expect more vlogs and more than anything you can also expect a little bit more consistency i know i call myself the consistent queen but this these past few months it's been a little bit shaky but guys please do forgive me because i honestly was just trying to find my feeds and trying to find myself again but the more that i just gain my personality back the more that i will be willing to create and the more inspired i feel to create stuff so yeah <laughs> i hope there's nothing that i missed out on initially i had made a list of things that i wanted to talk about but when i sat down here i was just like no actually i don't want to use a list i don't want to use talking points let me just speak from the heart and let me share what i'm comfortable with sharing and yeah like let me just give you guys a raw video so this is this is the raw video <laughs> no scripts no prompts just me being me and me sharing some candid parts of my life that i was a little bit shy with sharing so yeah guys i hope that you continue to walk this journey with me and yeah thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and give this video a huge thumbs up until next time this is from the consistent queen bye